Integrals at infinity are important. They show up a lot in fairly significant real world definitions. I'll limit myself to a single example so you can see how these things are used. Let's remind ourselves of an example we saw when we were looking at the trapezoidal rule. If C of X is the concentration of a drug X hours after the drug has been administered, then the integral from zero to B of C of X is the total exposure to the drug during the first B hours. Let's ask a related question. If C of X is this concentration function, what is your total exposure to the drug? Not after one hour, not after 24 hours, not even after 10,000 hours. Just full stop. What is your total exposure to the drug? Well, it's the integral from zero to infinity. Integrals like this show up all the time when your variable represents time and you're asking what happens in the future. Without wanting to put a specific number on what the future means. That is without wanting to say that the future is a thousand hours or a million hours or any specific number. Let's continue with this example just a little to see how it's used in another definition. A drug can be administered multiple ways. Most drugs that are administered orally could also be administered intravenously. That is to say, they could be injected straight into you. Let's define two functions. Drugs will be more effective when they're administered intravenously than when they're administered orally. A drug that's administered orally must pass through the intestinal wall and into the liver. A drug administered intravenously doesn't have to do any of that. It can reach the target tissue directly. And that gives rise to the following question. How much more effectively, or sorry, how much more effective is a drug when it is administered 
intravenously versus when it is administered orally. The answer to that question is called the bioavailability of the drug. And this is a number between zero and one. And a bioavailability of point three, for example, means that the drug is 30% as effective when it is administered orally. We measure the effectiveness of the drug by looking at exposure. Presumably, these things are directly related. The more exposure you have to a drug, the more effect it will have. And exposure is defined using an indefinite integral, ergo, bioavailability is defined using an indefinite integral. So these improper integrals show up a lot in all kinds of settings, basically anywhere that math is used and you're interested in asking questions about the future.